Hi friends, David Burt here and so glad to visit with you. And I want to thank Pastor Claire and Tricia for the invitation to share some thoughts with you this Advent. I'm helping Santa this year as he visits with boys and girls about what they want for Christmas. It's a great job, as you can imagine. And one of the things I see in almost every visit with the children is hope. Children tell Santa what they hope they will get for Christmas. Sometimes it's a toy or some Legos or the latest superhero action figure. But sometimes they hope that they can see their grandmother again or that they can get along better with their big brother or sister. Hope is powerful. Hope helps us envision what it is we would like to see happen. When we hope hard enough, we are encouraged to act in ways that will help bring about whatever it is we desire. And hope is one of the key messages of Advent. Jesus came as the hope of the world. Now, there have always been some sad, dark times in history, confusing times, but Jesus brought a message of hope that he called the kingdom of God. See, he envisioned a world where justice reigned, where differences were celebrated and not discouraged, where love and forgiveness motivated people's lives. And Jesus lived in such a way as to embody that very hope, and he calls us to follow. We light the Advent candle of hope, and in a way, every time we exhibit hope, it's like we are lighting a candle. We are saying that those sad, dark times don't always have the final word, that there is light. We are saying that despair is not the final note, but that we have hope that there is joy. Because Jesus lived a life of hope, we too can hope. It is what Jesus would want us to do. And as my friend Santa would say, it's time for some ho, ho, hope. So Rebecca and I hope you all have a wonderful Advent season and a very blessed Christmas. God bless us, everyone.